But to me, in the short term, the photorealistic is amazing to where yeah. I would prefer, like you said, the work room, but like on a beach with a beer, just to, to see a buddy of mine remotely on a chair next to me drinking a beer. I don't want any just chilling with a, with a friend, drinking beer, looking at the ocean while not being in the same place together. Whatever we seek in friendship, it seems to be present there in the same kind of realism I'm seeing right now. So to me, this is, I can see myself sticking with this for a long time, but I'm already, sorry to interrupt, I'm already forgetting that you're not real. <laughs> it's a <laughs> but, but deep philosophical question, yes. I do think that there are gonna start to be these subtle questions that seep in where the, the avatar is realistic um, in, in the sense of this is kind of what you looked like at the time of capture, but it's not necessarily temporally accurate to exactly what you look like in this moment. We the yeah. people, you know how people do like, like summer beach body with people will be for the scan, they'll try to lose some weight and look their best and sexiest with the nice hair and everything like that. I mean, it does, um, it does raise the question of, you know, if a lot of people are interacting with the digital version of ourselves, who are we really? I think there's a similar question of like, which version of that are we? Right? It's like, I, I think most people don't tend to think of themselves as the, uh, well, I don't know, it's, it's an interesting psychological question. Um, but, you know, but I think a lot of people <laughs> yeah. probably think about themselves as the best version. So I, I think that that's, yeah, it, it, there will definitely be a bunch of, a bunch of social scientists and, and folks will have to you know, and, and psychologists are really, there's going to be a lot to understand about how our perception of ourselves and others um, is shifted from this.